Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Apocalypse Chicago. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Thank you, and now let's get started. The city of Chicago used to be the jewel of the Midwest. Incredible buildings and architecture. Incredible ethnic neighborhoods with great restaurants and bars and people. You could hang out in the Polish or Italian section of Chicago all day long and rarely even hear anybody speaking English. I used to work for Oprah as a producer in Chicago. Back then the city was amazing. Beautiful women, everyone full of hope and optimism, people with jobs. Chicago had great sports teams back then, great newspapers, great food. It had a great beach downtown right on the lake. Families would go out there and just spend the day having uh, all the fun in the world. The place was fantastic. Every race and every culture was there and enjoying the city. The city and some of its people had some problems, but every major city had some problems and still does. But it's not like it is now. Now let's fast forward to today. The city is no longer recognizable. Countless retail stores and restaurants and bars have closed. An unbelievable number of jobs have just disappeared. The amount of crime in the city has now reached levels so high that it appears to be everywhere all the time. Does anyone still go shopping or sightseeing on the Gold Coast of Chicago? I suspect most of those people have started buying most of their stuff online now. Uh, the people I really feel sorry for in Chicago are the people who can't afford cars, people who have to use public transportation. People on public transportation are now getting robbed and assaulted so often that you have to ask yourself why everyone doesn't just carry you know, some kind of weapon or pepper spray or some kind of personal protection everywhere they go. Do you think that carrying uh, personal protection is too much? Have you seen all the videos on social media of them knocking out 80 year old ladies or stealing their uh, uh, babies from the, the arms of their mothers on the streets? Just today, I saw a video of a guy in New York walking down the street and he spots a homeless guy laying on the sidewalk. So he takes off his own winter coat and he starts covering up the homeless guy sleeping on the sidewalk with his winter coat. The homeless guy jumps up, starts attacking the guy who is giving him his coat, who is covering him with his winter coat, uh, grabbing his possessions, his wallet, and beating him up, knocking him down. Uh, the, the poor old guy who tried to give him his coat took a beating you wouldn't believe. Well, if you don't think carrying some form of personal protection in Chicago or some of these other cities is reasonable, then ask yourself this. If the chance of your getting a brick in the head uh, that will turn you into a vegetable for the rest of your life are that high, as they are in a lot of these cities now, then shouldn't people be able to legally purchase and carry protection of some sort for themselves and their families? I think they should legally change the name of the city of Chicago to Apocalypse Chicago, just to drive the point home, so that nobody makes the mistake of moving there or, or traveling there. Do you think that's too dramatic? Then ask yourself this, where has the tourism in Chicago disappeared to? Why has Chicago stopped prosecuting criminals? Why is it easier to steal a dozen cars a day in Chicago than it is to find a job? Given how many people are out of work or making very little money in Chicago, why do the politicians keep raising the taxes? Why do so many public schools in Chicago look like active crime scenes all the time? Why are so many riots breaking out inside Chicago schools at this time? Why did the mayor of Chicago decide to move out of the city because she didn't feel safe living in the city? And this is a woman with her own personal uh, security detail. Why have so many of the wealthy and middle class left Chicago and never returned? Does anyone out there see one positive sign that things are improving in Chicago these days? Chicago is famous for making it difficult for law-abiding citizens to own firearms and to prevent them from getting new ones. So you would assume less legally owned guns would mean a, a safer street by their 
uh, demented logic, right? Not at all. Criminals have more guns now than ever before. In fact, you can probably buy an illegal gun in Chicago more easily than you can go out and get a burger and fries. Welcome to Apocalypse Chicago. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.